Hey everyone, I'm currently in the process of dealing with all the bug fixes that remain in my game, mostly relating to multiplayer replication, as you might expect. As you can see, I have a checklist, and a whole new one, by the way, as I'm editing this, but I thought this one bug in particular was interesting. The issue was, when modifying the order of weapons in the client player's slots, the icons would fail to update. So watch the animations. Sword you're supposed to pull out of like a sheath, and this one comes over the back. But if I switch them... It gets messed up. So I, I know what I've done. I fixed another issue and it caused this issue again. So if I recall, and luckily it's still here, in the same spot in the event graph, I'm pretty sure I made this from server to multicast, so it should be server. But there was a reason I did that. Okay, so see the animations are fine and the name in the corner is fine. But the reason I made it multicast was just to see if this would work. See how they're switching, but they're not until I refresh it. And that is preferable to what was happening before, but still not good. So the only thing I need is update controller slots. Why is this not working? Seeing as it executes on the Odin client, I'm not sure. This was designed to be run by the server, and then it would signal the client, hey, update your slots. That's probably why here. The client doesn't Wait. So this probably executes. So we'll just see if we hear the print string from the client. Looks like we do. And it's even executing when I switch. So replication isn't the issue. Um, if I recall, clients don't know what a player controller is. So we'll put a print string on the cast failed output pin. Why is it working now? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a delay issue. Yeah, it's working just fine, but it's it's like it's not, I don't know, man. So the carried weapons array is replicated, but it's like it's telling the client to update the slots before this is being re replicated. 
And this happens a lot. These delay issues with from client to server or server to client. It's quite frustrating, honestly. So I'm going to have to think about this. But I'll make a note about something I said. Clients don't know what other players' controllers are, so you cannot reference other players' controllers. But the reason this works is because it's it's the own client's controller. So because it's executed on the owning client, the owning client knows its own controller exists, but they don't know. So like client to client, they, they those two could not access each other's controllers. Anyway, this is one of those things that requires some kind of roundabout solution. So to you, it will be one jump cut. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. So I created this new event. Update carried weapons client. So this uh, tra takes direct input of the, uh, the array carried weapons from the server. So the input is carried weapons and then it sets it. So this ensures that it's set on the client before we call update controller slots to update the HUD slots. And that's what it looks like right in here. So first I swap those two weapons um, on the server and then I, I plug in that array that's been modified to the client. The client receives it, sets it right there, and then we can update, update the slots and that guarantees that this is set first. And here's what that looks like. So we can move them around. And it's stable. There is something else happening here. Okay, let's go to the server, the host here. Yeah, see that? It's supposed to, when you press next weapon, it's supposed to go down. Which means on the client, it's not being set. Um, the, the number is not being set. Or wielded weapon is not being set. Okay, so this is the problem here. Current weapon index. It was not replicated before, and I'm going to keep it not replicated because I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to keep this new event so everything happens before because replication, um, it, it, could, it just happens whatever your network speed is. But when you have an order that needs to be completed, uh, just make a new event. So current weapon index set. So functionally, it was working to, to just replicate this and let the server set it over here. But what was happening, the, uh, the highlighted icon was not changing. And it, you can see it's even messed up here too. I am not wielding this sword. So let's fix that here. I think I'll just make this a bit neater. Oh wait, let's not screw this up. 
index 2. We'll just move this up and then plug this in and then plug current weapon index into the client function. There we go. And then let's get one more sword, a dagger, sure. There, next weapon is the dagger. So if I press Q right now, it will switch to the sword. But if we reorder like this, it should be the halberd. And there you go. So everything appears to be working. And that's one problem solved in about 20 minutes, so that's not bad. Maybe there's a cleaner way of doing it, a better way. I'm sure there's many systems at this point that I could overhaul, but I'm just trying to make sure it works. <laughs> Where's that meme with the bird? It's like a, a, a picture of a pigeon. It's like when your code's all messed up but it functions. Great, I'm happy. <laughs> For my assets, I'm a lot more like, no, it has to be done perfectly. It has to be clean and nice. I thought I could actually make this one video, but uh, honestly, that's probably the most interesting one. So yeah, I will leave it there. Hopefully this uh, gives you some replication insight, and thanks for watching.